Hello everybody, so in today's video I'm gonna show you how to download and install GD Launcher for Minecraft Java in 2025. So let's get started. The first thing you're gonna do is go to your web browser and I will have links in the description if you're interested, but simply go to your search bar and search up for GD Launcher. Like so. Once you entered you should see gdlauncher.com. Simply click on GD Launcher. And this will bring you to the GD Launcher homepage. Now, simply go to the top of the website to download for Windows and click the blue download button. Once you're done, it should say that you have finished downloading. You can just close your web browser and open up your downloads folder. Once you have this, you should see GD Launcher here. Simply double click it and this will just start the installing process. So, here we see that let Windows and App access location. You can just do no if you want. And here we have GD Launcher Carbon, just the new version of GD Launcher. And here we have some terms and conditions. You can just do agree and continue. And here we can do accept all and continue. And this we need to do. We need to sign in using our Minecraft Java account. So that will be Microsoft Java. So simply click sign in. And what we can do here, we can just go to copy and open in browser. And what you have to do here is simply go back to the GD Launcher. You want to copy the code. And you want to go back to your web browser. And you want to click paste, like so. Once you're done, simply go and allow access. And you can now sign in to your Microsoft account with Microsoft Java. Once you're done, what you want to do is simply go down and click accept. And now it says all done. What you want to do is go back to the GD Launcher here, and now we can see that we have a little Minecraft account, and we can just do next. Here, what we can do is simply go and add an email for our GD Launcher account specifically. So I'll just add, and once you added your email, you can just go to next. Now it says we sent a verification. We can just do verify later if you want. I'll just do this. I'll just do verify later, honestly. So there you go. And now we have our GD launcher opening up. So all we need to do here is simply go to next. And here it says some settings we can change. I'll just do next. And now we can finally have access to things. So all you want to do here is simply go ahead and choose GD launcher legacy and mod pack, stuff like that. And mod pack will be for modern smart packs, but you can just do skip. And now you have access to the GD launcher. So what you want to do is simply go ahead and go to plus add in instance here. And this is what you're interested in here. So here we have instance name. So I can just do 1.21.4. You can put anything in there. You can just select which game version you want. I'll just choose the latest Minecraft version. And you can select if you want Forge, Neo Forge, Fabric Quilt. I just use Forge here. You can add mods, many mods actually with Forge, so you can do that. And now it is creating the instance and actually downloading Minecraft Java for you. So all we have to do is wait for that. Once you're done with downloading Minecraft Java, you can simply go ahead and click the play button once you hover over that. And this will just start up Minecraft Java. We can see Minecraft here, all good. And all you wanna do is simply wait for Minecraft to load up. This will just load up Minecraft like any other Minecraft version. And here it is. Press enter to enable the narrator. So to say, change some settings. This will reset your Minecraft settings, of course. And now we're in Minecraft Java. So we can just go to a single player world. This is a different instance that we can't really play on our normal world. So we can just import our worlds if we really want it from our Minecraft launcher here. But for a first playthrough, you will just have normal Minecraft instance, just like it was a new one. So yeah, and that is just how you get GD Launcher to work for Minecraft Java in 2025. So if you liked this video, make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one. Bye!